Hi family, just want to give you a couple of announcements as we head into Sunday. Uh, first is our mission team is doing really well. We're so grateful for your prayers and support of them. They're back in the States. They're en route to return back to West Michigan uh, sometime on Saturday. And just be praying for them that they have a safe trip back. Pray that God continues to move down in Mexico where they built this uh, three-room house for this family in need. The church identified that family, the church down there on the ground, the Nazarene Church um, in Juarez, uh, Mexico, identified the family. We built a home for them and just praying that God moves in their hearts and continue to pray for them and the ministry there. Um, but pray for the team as they return back with safe travels and we're so looking forward to hearing the stories of God, uh, the work that God did among them. They worked super hard in incredible heat and did a tremendous work uh, for God and we're just so grateful for, for them. Also, I um, want to give you a heads up that we're heading into a new series. I'm going to start a new series from the book of Revelation, where so many of us are asking the question, are, are these the end times um, with the unrest and, and the pandemic and what's happening in our world right now? Is this a perfect time to be looking at, hey, is this exactly what Jesus meant in the um, Sermon on the Mount of Olives from Matthew 24, where he talked about signs of the end, the end times? We know that Jesus came to preach the gospel and the gospel of the kingdom of God that's, that he inaugurates. And then one day he'll return to bring that kingdom in fullness to make all things whole. We're going to look at the book of Revelation. It's the only book in the New Testament that talks about a prophetic word about what's happening in the future. And, and Jesus says to be, be aware and be alert, be awake, and understand the nature of, what, of what's happening in our world and and how we have a great word where Jesus will come and make all things new. And he's coming back again to, um, to bring his bride with him for all, for all in eternity. Praise God for that reality and just ask you to be praying for this series and uh, pray that God moves among us. Uh, also, just wanted to let you know we are looking at plans to get back in the building. Um, we've loved uh, having a summer where we can worship outside and having... A safe venue where people can gather and listen from their cars and then sit in the great um, outdoors behind the church uh, where we're worshiping together and and um, and we're also uh, looking at getting back in the building and so uh, over the next several weeks um, you know we hope to do that and we have a plan drawn up that we're uh, mulling over and so uh, when we get to the final stage of that we'll make sure to let everyone know but we are uh, working on that certainly and just to let you know ministry doesn't end like we, we, during a pandemic uh, things are still happening and we had a great men's ministry this past week on tuesday night second tuesday of every month we're, we're meeting to encourage our guys and we've got a lot of other ministries happening like hand to hand and a lot that you'll see in this in this email I encourage you to read everything and and just be praying for the life of our church that that christ would be manifest and expressed through the body of christ here at High Point, and that he would come in greater ways for the lost and for the hurting, and that he would move in all of our hearts, um, that, that we might be a shining uh, star as a church family for his sake. Thank you so much, and I pray God's blessing on you and, and our church family, and um, just continue to pray that God moves in, in great ways. Amen. Thanks. Be at peace.